Hello and welcome in that studio guide on the very basics of Kara Studio. In this video we will cover the user interface so let's get started. We can see that the interface is divided in three categories. Top left corner is for adding and editing things. Bottom left plugins and minor editors. And top right is the workspace and cameras. We look at the first category the add button open few options. Girls to add girls boys to add boys, items to add items, map to change general map and so on. The search button is the same as the next category so don't mind it. If you click on anim it will vary from what you have selected at first. It's a property panel. If you have a sphere you can edit color. If you have a rope you can edit fk nodes and outline settings. If you have a character there is a lot you can do. Status is for closed states, active outfit, and lots of small edits. Kinematics is to enable FK slash IK and change expressions. Animations is to load stock animation. Voice to add voices. Clothing to load external outfit files. And joint adjustment to correct joints when needed. Then the sound tab isn't really used and to finish. System is for Kara Studio options, lighting and scene settings. Or save. Or load scenes. Now for the bottom left corner, the save button is to open the new save shortcut plugin. The find button allow you to search for items. The local button is to change the axis direction of the guide from local to global. Time is timeline. The animation plugin. Extra is to have the extra gizmo under the workspace. Anim control is to link IK nodes to items. Move is the move tool for precise movement. KKPE is a very versatile and useful tool that we will see later. Map to adjust map location. The next four buttons are for gizmos and only axis is useful. Free camera to lock it in place. And the classical undo slash redo button. Then if you select something you will see the informations about the item in the 3D space such as position, rotation, and scale. You can reset using def button, copy and paste transform, and last part on the top right corner the camera slots. Click save to save a camera position and then click on the number to get back. Click on the eye icon to have fine adjustment, and plus to add more cameras. Side note, the I button is from a mod that might not be in the HF patch. The set camera panel is for camera items. The other buttons are to hide certain UI elements but you can hide them all using space so it isn't useful in most cases. And to finish, the workspace is where everything you added is located. You can also make folders, parent stuff on other stuff, copy items, make camera, access the mat editor and delete items here. That should sum up for that first guide on the Kara Studio. Have fun!